now that I installed this Julet three pin connector to my V set uh, this throttle display, turns out it opened up my ability to use other throttle besides the thumb throttle that I original intended for. This Julet connector is standard, so it actually works with twist throttles and a micro thumb throttle and also the half twist throttle. Yep, they're all compatible. The pin assignments and the uh, Hall effect sensor that's in here actually matches all, all three. So next, what I'm going to do then is try putting in a twist throttle on the V-set. Try it with the half twist throttle. And then try with the uh, this micro thumb throttle. I guess you can use it for finger throttle too. Yeah, that might work too. Not bad. So modifying this is in my other video. Uh, you guys can, I'll, give, I'll put a link down in the description below of how to see how I modified this. Basically, I just soldered on this Julet 3-pin female connector uh, in place of the Hall Effect sensor transistor that's in here. Well, I can tell you now, coming from a motorcycle world, I've been riding motorcycles since I was really young. I'm going to start, I think I'm leaning towards the twist throttle. But I'll put it all on and give you some feedback of what to expect. This is the original thumb, th this is the thumb throttle I've been using. Uh, I've already loosened it in order to get to the thumb throttle and remove it. Just need to release the uh, foldable handboard. Fold it. Once it's folded, then these all come out together. Uh, I've already loosened this. So we should be able to just slide them off together. Because of the wire loom, it's all tie wrapped together. Don't need to break the tie wrap. There. So I got my brake, I mean my thumb throttle out. Just disconnect from this Julet 3 pin tight. Okay, short throw. So it would be interesting on a V set because the V set's so freaking powerful. With that short throw, I'll be moving into full throttle in no time. <laughs> Could be a little scary. Right, let's push this in together. Okay. You can see now, let's bring this back up. Okay, that's what it looks like. That's pretty, uh, pretty nice. Tighten this down. Oh, I like it down there, maybe up here. Oh, that's pretty secure, not bad. Yeah, doesn't get in the way. We'll try this, we'll plug it in. Okay, this is what the micro thumb throttle. I just position it here to make it easier. I don't know how we're gonna measure this. Is it easier to see it from the side? So, about an eighth inch in. Yeah. It's a really short throw. Very, very short throw. This is actually much more comfortable than the regular thumb throttle because it's such a short throw. Makes it a little easier to push. It's not as, the spring is not as hard either. The only problem is, I think, is when it gets bumpy. I mean, I'm going to be twitching on the thumb a little bit possibly. Next we'll try the twist throttle, the full twist throttle. This is like a about a half a quarter turn. Take this off. Oh they all have to come together, come all together. Up, oh, you have to fold it first. Because there's not enough cable length. There we go. Pull this together. Okay, on this. 
Okay, this is a small twist throttle. We're gonna remove. Let's step back here. Okay. Now, as you know, the turn signal is built into this grip, so we're not going to have turn signal here, obviously. But to remove the grip from the actual switch, it's pretty simple. If you look close, it's just a wires that go around the grip. So this actually slides out. I'm going to show it to you. Just push it out, see? It's not even glued in. And the wires that loop around to the switch, it slides out too. So that's what it looks like. Again, these this opens up and there's a slot for the switch and a slot for where the wire enters. It just goes around. It's pretty simple. I'm just gonna leave that hanging because I'm not too sure. If I do choose to go with this type of uh, twist throttle, I'll order a turn signal switch and I can adapt this to that turn signal switch. But for now, we'll just test this out the way it is and see how well it works or how it feels. This part's a little bit weird because you can't really rest your hand on this because it moves, so that's a little bit hokey. We don't need that. It should have been just a round twist, but ah, feels like a motorcycle. We'll go try that out and see how it how it does. Okay, again, this is uh, pressed, and this is when it reaches that line, it's full throttle. You can see that the throttle starts around here, and then you accelerate in, still going up. I know it shows about halfway, it reaches the max, but really it goes another about two thirds before it reaches the max. And then after that there's nothing when I ride on the road with some load. Let's see here. Still good. Still going. So this is not bad. Okay, next is the half throttle. Let's, so I was riding with the twist throttle. Very, very good. I really like it. Uh, felt, felt very natural because, again, I ride motorcycles. And it's always twist throttles on motorcycles. Uh, let's get this out. We probably don't need to remove anything anymore because the twist throttle is the last one at the end. So there's the twist throttle. I guess this goes in first. And then we have this thing. And then we have the grip. The half grip, I just gotta push it in. Okay. Alright, took, took some muscling to get that in there. We'll tighten this up and connect the connector. Again, we have no turn signal. We'll have to devise a switch for that if I should stay with this. Connect that in and that's it. Bottle. See what that does. Okay, this is with the half throttle. I marked the lowest point and this is the highest point when you reach that blue line. So we're going to see when it starts. Throttle starts to take sensitivity around here. You can see by the uh, speedometer. Right? So as I accelerate. Still going up. So it tops out about here, okay, or two thirds of the way, and after that there's nothing. Okay. 
This is with the half twist throttle. This throttle I really like. I think we're gonna keep, I'm gonna keep this one. I'm riding with the half twist throttle mounted. Feels really, really good, very solid. You can see that I twist a little bit and it works really well. The good thing is the other half of the twist throttle is the grip. So you can keep your hands well gripped on the handlebars. Even though you have the throttle that's being controlled by your forefinger and your thumb. You can see this trail is a little bit bumpy. It's shaking a little bit, but wow. yeah, it's good. Do that. The other good thing is it's easy to get into the cruise control mode with it after this throttle because you can just hold it very steady, just passing these two people slowly, being as courteous as I can. Yeah, you all those. You'll also notice here when I cross this street here. notice is after two-thirds yeah after about two-thirds of the throttle there is no more the max is at two-thirds anything beyond that doesn't do anything much and the slight play in the beginning is okay I didn't even notice it actually having that little dead spot in the beginning helps stop uh, prevent me from accidentally jumping the throttle when sitting still.